Hello everybody! Hope you can see me and hear me. Um, everything looks green on this side, but I'm not seeing any chat for some reason, but I'll crack on regardless and assume everyone can see me. I've made the wonderful decision to redo my entire setup just before going live, as I like to do. Make upgrades, make changes just before we go live. So I've moved my PC from this side of the room to this side of the room just so as I could get extra access or better access to some of the USB sockets so as we could have extra cameras like this. Oh, that's disappointing. That was working a minute ago. Um, why is there no chat? What's going on with that? I'm a poet and I didn't know it. There is chat there. It's just not showing up where it should. Uh, we have the know-how. I can fix this. Uh, if I do that... Copy that. Mm, maybe I can't fix that. That's annoying. So I'll just say hello to you in normal time then. Uh, what can I see so far? We've got, oh, I can scroll all the way back to see Zen Ginger saying, woohoo, I'll be here waiting. And Midrul, Murderdul, saying first when he's actually second. That's not, that's not how things work. <laughs> being called out by Zen Ginger for his lies, because he wasn't first. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to see if I can find a way to fix this while chatting. If I go into studio mode, will that do it? Uh, it might do it. So, if I add in... I think, I'm just going to talk to myself here for a minute. I'm going to add in a browser source an existing one called chat display and then wherever it is I put in this URL and go OK and if I click that haha it works and then I go back to non-studio mode and bring that down to about here Oh, kind of worked. I mean, you wouldn't really expect nothing to go wrong, would you? If I'm going to dick about with my settings. Now, if I do this... No, that just does that. Uh, I do this. No. What about this? No. So, how's everyone's weekend been? <laughs> Uh, I hope you're being uh, half as busy as me. Let's put it that way. Or I hope you haven't been half as busy as me. Because this has been ridiculous. Why is it doing that? You can almost see. Close enough, eh? It'll do for a live fix. Um, and as Juggler says, remember, uh, it's going to cut it off and that's really going to annoy me. Why would it do that? Graham, angry noisy smash. Uh, what if I do that? And that, no. Ta-da! Hi, so it's Hans from Sweden. Hello, Hans. Collaboration of curiosities. Juggler Brian's then. Nice to see you, Brian. Have you paid for that message? 
Uh, Wet Sleeves Aquatics, greetings from Wisconsin. Um, if this is your first time here, I have had a few extra subscribers. I promise I'm more... Pro ah, that's a lie. I was about to promise that I'm usually more professional than this and everything runs like a dream, but yeah, most dreams start with a, oh, what's happening? Welcome to Pishy Fizzness, but at least we have a beer and I have it in my Aquarium Adventures tankard. Ta-da! And I deserve it after the week I've had. Not had a bad week, it's just been busy at work. Brian beat Zen at bingo and is happy. Excellent. Hello, is Zen known for her bingo skills? Who knows? Tommy's in, howdy all. Nice to see you. Brian is sitting in a sleazy snack bar eating sickly sausage rolls. Is that a song? That song's been around in my head for ages. I don't know that song. Ross from a cold but acceptable spring evening. It is bleeding Baltic here. I mean, it's not, it says it's four degrees, but all day I have been absolutely shivering. It is not nice. And I'm in, it's, in here it's like 20, 26 degrees in here. But still. Baltic, very damp and drich, says Brian. Silver Surfer, hello. Simon's here, Ian's here. Hey, who else have we got? He set up the sound. I've got the sound working. Or oh, was that me cracking my beer before we started? <laughs> oh dear. Got man flu coming on. Pray for me, everyone. Uh, thank you, Scott. Evening all. How is everyone? Welcome along to Fishy Prison. Fishy Business. No, what is it? Fishy Business. Yes. On a Friday evening where we get to have a little bit of a chill out, a relax, play some games. I'm going to call it quiz night tonight because I'm going to try some new things. I have some ideas. We're going to have a regular quiz at approximately 9.30. Although we could move the quiz again because it's obviously not the time that's making it crash. I think we just have to wait for it to crash. But anyway, we'll keep it at 9.30 this week and then I'm going to try out a couple of different game modes um, to see if there's any interest in them. They'll just be for fun. Or maybe some extra practice. Depends how many beers I get down before then. Um, we'll have some more chat. Any time you want to ask a question, just ask a question in chat. It's as simple as that. Use the word question in your question. It highlights it a little for me so I get to see it a little bit e easier. Um, but yeah, we've got quiz. We've got chat. We've got some admin to do. What was it I was going to do? Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, but I haven't killed everything. Uh, where is my admin I wanted to do? We're going to use the power of social media and my influence over all of you. If you have nothing better to do, I'm about to post a link. Ah, that's not that. <laughs> God, it's nothing really buddy work. No! I want you to go and vote for one of our stream regulars although I have no way of doing it I've lost it now Juggler, put the link in the chat for your daughter's picture we're going to go and vote en masse for Juggler's daughter's fantastic picture of a dog doing some parkour it's entered into a competition and I want to give her all the help that we can give her see if we can't spread a bit of goodwill around uh, why would that do that? Hmm. I copied it down in a little a special sheet that I was going to use topics and be all professional of things we were going to talk about tonight. I've lost it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, oh well. Another day. Why on earth does YouTube think I need subtitles for a Scotsman? I think it's because YouTube thinks it's funny to try and put subtitles on some of my videos. The amount of people I get. At the moment, I've been having a lot of people who English isn't necessarily their first language, they've been telling me. And all the comments are like, I have no idea of what this guy is saying, but it looks good. So, you know, I'll take half of that. Murder Doodle, nice to see you. Uh, click on live chat, Mr. Right. Uh, no, it's not. So, for all you... Oh, why is that happening? For all you geeks out there who stream, I use a thing called Stream Ninja within OBS, and all I have to do is start the stream. 
and it comes up within my OBS panel so I can just click on the ones that I want to do. So I've reverted to my old one, which is still fine, so I have no problems with that. Um, Tim Reptile, nice to see you. Aquarium Daily, hello Andrew. I mean, we could even try and get Andrew on again. Don't know if that may be pushing it a bit too far um, later on, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. Um, let me see if I can catch up with the chat, because I'm quite far behind. Um, Lee Pollitt, good evening from Bolton. Hello there. Do you see it if we write in a smaller font? <laughs> okay, we're, we're at a point where my chat was gubbed. Uh, Ian Scott still waiting on my tail. I have chased. I have had an apology from Phil. He So, for those of you that don't know, my printed merch... Well, not my printed merch, my merch that comes with the embroideries of the logos, towels, t-shirts, polo shirts, all that kind of stuff, comes from a uh, friend of the channel, a uh, long-time helper of the channel, Phil over at Elite Logos for You, and he's been having a bit of staffing issues, I think we call it, staffing issues in a busy time of the year, so he has told me they will be out as soon as possible, because there's a couple of orders that we're waiting on, I think Ross, you ordered a towel as well. Um, so hopefully they won't be much longer, and I'm sorry about any of the delays. Um, I was also chatting to him about um, sublimation, because I was thinking of getting... Um, it's more my daughter's into arts and crafts, and we were talking about printing things on... She wanted to do it on canvas bags and stuff, and I was like, oh, I could print t-shirts. Um, and mugs and hats and things like that, but I could do like small limited runs where I was in control of everything. So if I wanted to do a prize giveaway for uh, the quiz or whatever, and I wanted to do one of my aquarium nerd mugs, I could just print that and send it out straight away from myself. So I'm thinking about investing in that kind of stuff, but I think I would need to sell something like 20 t-shirts or 50 mugs to make it pay for itself, so uh, I'm not quite sure whether or not to pull the button yet. So, if you if you would be interested in some bespoke merch, let me know. That might tip the balance of me buying the thing. Uh, we'll see. Stevie P in the house, hello, how are we doing? Uh, oh, it was the fog on the time. Ah, right, that song from earlier. Sorry. Uh, oh, where have we got to? Sorry. Dave the Diver from a relatively warm Cornwall. Oh. Um, for those of you interested, we're starting the night with the North Brewing Company. Focus. There you go. Another World Hazy IPA. And I have to say, quite delightful. Fresh. A bit of a sore throat, so it's medicinal as well. Brian says social media has no influence on him because he's trying to edit a video. Oh wow, getting into the world of video editing. <sighs> uh, juggler isn't a mod, he needs a wrench. <laughs> he needs a wrenching. Um, I'm sure we have the power to do that. He's won every quiz I've ever done. I'm sure that merits becoming a mod, does it? It won't let me make him a mod. Why is nothing working? Just one thing work. That'd be nice. Aquafunk is driving and lurking. So he won't have seen that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Can try and copy some new stuff. It's Andrew, you have inspired me with my quizzing. I, I really liked. So, Andrew, if you don't know, uh, Aquarium Daily is another fishy channel who runs a quiz usually on a Saturday night. Um, he uses different quizzing software to me, and I quite like it. But the free version is quite limited. I think you can only have 20 players or something like that, and I usually get more than that. And the non-free version, it goes from zero to, like, a billion pounds! And I'm like, oof, that's a little bit much. 
Um, so I thought we we're going to try out a couple of different games on Blukit tonight, which is the stuff that I use, just to see if they're any good. Uh, where is the vote located? That's the thing. It won't wait. It won't let me make you a mod juggler. Why won't that do? Why won't that do? That's not even proper words. Why won't that do? Um, you can probably see it in Discord, but I can't find it at the moment. Now I've broke chat altogether. There we go. <coughs> and da -da 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 -da. Nabokov fan is in. Um, bone to pick with you, Nabokov. I've been trying to watch Travelers again. I've made it all the way through the first season, halfway through the second season. It is not getting any better. I got. I was angry at it because it was not fulfilling my entertainment needs. Uh, can I delay the quiz for about two minutes? Because I have to put the tatties in at nine thirty. Ah, fair enough. But we we'll normally try and go at nine thirty. It crashes at nine thirty, and then we actually start at nine thirty-three or something like that normally. Uh, my wife had a heat press and mug heat press. They're easy to use, but you can only use certain t-shirts with a high polyester content. So I've been doing some digging into this. So yes, with the normal sublimation stuff, yeah, you normally have to have a, um, a high polyester count. And only certain... Except what I'm going for here is I want to be able to do stuff that's decent. So I don't want to buy the crappiest t-shirts in the world that are going to fall apart after three washes. I don't want to buy mugs that you can't put in the dishwasher and stuff. So um, we were chatting about this on Andrew's stream the other week, possibly. So I, I obsess about things like this. Whenever I get into something, I'm like, right, now I will go and learn everything there is to know about this subject. So there are ways where you can do proper sublimation on high cotton percentages where you have to kind of fool it into doing a, a pre-press and a pre colour on something else and then you actually sublimate on your initial press and uh, this is not interesting to anyone, I know, but I've watched a lot of videos about it this week so I think I can do some decent stuff but yeah, there's like a spend of like 500 quid to do it cheaply and if I do it cheaply I'll do it craply so we'll see Which one am I voting for? Um, it's the one with the... It's not a collie, is it? I forget what kind of dog it is. It's the one... I want to say number 12, parkour. Someone has probably already answered this. <laughs> the casual flex. No, I didn't mean it like that. Um, I, I normally get a little bit more than that which would be annoying for if you were quizzer number 21 and you couldn't get in that would be annoying for you um, my casual 30 people in the quiz hmm, yeah, that was not what I was going for <laughs> uh, open your stream on a phone tap jugglers well I've got the ability to do it here but my PC is having a fit about things let's do stream inception I'll watch my own stream on my own phone Yeah, maybe I should flex. I've had another, what well, was it last week, saying, oh, I've had a thousand subscribers in a week. I've never had that before in my life. I've had two thousand subscribers this week. I've never had that in my life. Um, how do I get to see my own live streams? My videos? My lives? What number is this? 151? One, one? Nope. So, we might do a bit of boring analytics chat later because I've been trying to figure out what it is that's driving all this new traffic. 
And I'm not quite there, but I think I've got some insights as to what's going on. Uh, there you go, juggler. You might be a moderator. See if that ever works. Travelers fizzed out with no ending, if I recall correctly. Well, I'm not going to make it to the end. It's it fizzed out halfway through season two, as far as I'm concerned. It's just got so much potential. The idea is great. I love it. But everything is just so ham-fisted and just like, that's a stupid idea. No, that wouldn't happen. Ugh. Don't like it. Sorry. I know some people love it. <laughs> I'm just not loving it. Uh, I'm not asking for a delay. I'm working on a painting of mountains at the moment, says Silver Creek. Working on it for about two and a half hours and I'm taking a break for this. Well, don't worry. We will get the quiz going. Um, and tatties will just have to wait if that has to be. Uh, you also need a sublimation print. Yes, you do. Hence why there's a bit of a cost to go into it. Um, but interestingly, the printer I have at the moment, I could change into a sublimation printer but then I wouldn't really be able to use it as a proper printer so I'd probably have to buy another printer What are tatties? My brain isn't braining that. Tatties are potatoes uh, Is that why they all seem to be Fruit of the Loom t-shirts? Yeah, a lot of the... and Fruit of the Loom isn't bad they're, they're decent uh, they're a, a good budget brand Fruit of the Loom I think Is Travellers the one they go about in an egg capsule thing? No, I quite like that one. Uh, I forget the name of that. That was the one where they travelled back to points in time to fix things. Um, I quite enjoyed that one. Uh, it's okay, as discussed, if you don't dig the story or see the big picture at the end of season one, it's just deeper into the rabbit hole about like Alice in Wonder. Yeah. I tried to force it, I tried to give it my whole four episodes thing and then you said the thing about you need to get through season one. I got through season one and I was like, oh. I got through season one and the way I knew I was through season one is when Netflix auto-played the next one and it was season two, episode three, and I was like, where was the big thing at the end of season one? Did I sleep through that? <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes! I have a mug t-shirt press available. Well, maybe we should talk. Salient, nice to see you. Uh, where do we play the quiz? Is there a link? There is a link when I get round to telling you what it is, which would be a little bit easier. Uh, we're on number 152, aren't we? So this is where I normally say my thing about if you want to play the quiz the rules are it's a fastest finger first affair well, That's quite fun to say, fastest finger first affair where you get points for a correct answer and you get more points for getting the correct answer quickly The answers are what I think is correct rather than what might actually be correct and there have been occasions when those two things have differed uh, Tough Sorry, no refunds will be given it doesn't cost anything to play. The You get to pick an icon where you go, and as Rebecca's not here, anyone can have the fish, but when Rebecca's here, she gets upset, so she needs to get the fish as the avatar. And then what we do is we play every week, and at the end of the month, so for all the quizzes in March, all the quizzes in March, we will add up all the scores and tell you how many you got, and whoever gets the most points by the end of the month will win a prize. Uh, for instance, last month's prize uh, for Juggler is this. Uh, uh, sorry about this, by the way. It printed a little bit of <laughs> black filament, so you've got that little mark on there, and I thought, I ain't printing that again. This took 46 hours to print in total. It is a fry reading system, as popularised or made and designed by Low Lowell's Fish Room? Lowell's. Lowell's Fish Lab, a YouTube channel. So I joined his Patreon, uh, downloaded the files to print this. Uh, there's also a little bit of funkiness gone on there, but it, it holds. 
Uh, there's some quite tight tolerances, but yeah, it looks like it'll work. So basically what happens is, you might have seen this on Master Breeder Deans, who was on the show last... the show? Yeah, we're a TV show now, who was on the stream last week. Um, you might have seen his breeding system, so basically this sits on top of your tank. You plug in an air, air line here, that draws water up through this inlet here, which comes out here. And it's designed in such a way, as you can see, where it kind of reduces the flow, or reduces the turbidity of the flow. So as it just constantly fills this up with water, and then the water goes out here. You put a sponge in here, and the water goes out and trickles back down, and you grow your fry out in here. So, yeah. The print was actually quite straightforward. It didn't pose too many problems. I just... So, we need to get that to juggler. So, I'm trying to do more interesting prizes rather than just, oh, here's a bag of fish foods, or, oh, here's a whatever. So, better prizes that are more, I don't know, one-offs. Pardon me. Um, but playing the quiz, what we'll do is, in about five minutes or so, I'm going to give you a link, so join it in a second device or a second screen if you're watching on a computer or a TV, you can do it on your phone or whatever. Uh, I'll send you the link, I'll post it in chat, everyone can jump on there, and we'll have a wee play of the game. Uh, Graham needs to do some upgrades to his PC. Graham does. Thank you for the plants, they arrived in top condition. Excellent. If anyone else got plants, let me know how they arrived. So people who ordered a lot of plants, I uh, got these plant trays that are meant to hold them a little bit more firmly. And then the people who ordered like one or two plants, I've just posted them as normal, but packed in like a cardboard box. So if, if they got there, let me know. Uh, it would be appreciated if you went on the website and left a review to say it worked. Or, to be fair, that was crap. These are rubbish. Don't buy here. I, I, I'm i happy to have any criticism. Because uh, I won't get better if you don't tell me. Uh, I meant to say the plant arrived in awesome condition. Good. So that's two people who got two different... You One got the big one, one got the little one. So <coughs> hopefully that um, that's a good sign. It worked. Did it? What did? I don't know. Oh, Juggler's a mod. Ah, yes, it did work. Excellent. Oh, I'm all over the place again. <laughs> wish I was getting some of your traffic. Well, I spent many a year wishing I was getting this traffic, so I'm finally getting it. Thank you, everyone, for the traffic. <coughs> it's your attractive accent. Well, that, that is a weird thing. I do get occasionally get sent links to... Um, I'll get random emails saying, oh, your video's copyright, do you want to copyright strike this video? And I'm like, oh, what's this? And it's like the ASMR channel. Or somebody will occasionally send me a thing saying, oh, I saw one of your videos here. And it's like some weird... I mean, I'm sure it's all above board and all that, but still, it's weird. Uh, did you ever try to watch the show Heroes? Travelers reminded me of that. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking there. They introduced a lot of neat concepts, but didn't know what to do with them. That's what was that. I was like, oh, so much more could be done with this. Uh, 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 right, we are about to, <coughs> pardon me, about to do the quiz.
I will give you a, a word of warning. Some of the questions are a bit meh. If you remember, the theme this week was Crufts. Crufts, the international dog show. But I've also used the Oscars, because it's the Oscars this weekend. It's also International Women's Day. Um, so, congratulations all women. Or, what, how, how do you say? Happy International Women's Day? So bear that in mind, and some of the questions are a little bit, a little bit contrived. So we'll host it now, and I'll send you the link. Sign in. Let's go with little face. Host that. Let me let me line it up a bit. So I think what we're going to try later on is some of these other um, game types. Some of them don't really work with this whole me being the host dynamic, because otherwise you're just watching, I'm watching nothing and you're all playing against each other. So I think we could try Battle Royale, sounds quite good, and maybe racing. So, let's go. Oh no, I've done it wrong already. I want to do classic for this one. Host that. Random question order. Host. <coughs> Host now. Turn the volume down a wee bit. Copy link. Paste in chat. I don't always say everything I'm doing. It just helps me now and again. So, that link that I've just put in. Click that. Jump in. As I say, it's fastest finger first. The faster you are, the more points you get. You have to kind of think what I think is right, or what website I might have looked up this information on. Um, so, some things will just be right and wrong. And the most important one, use the same name as you used last week. Otherwise, it's hard for me to count up. It may well be another guessing week, as Lynx Fishkeeper says. Stevie P's goal is not to be in last place. <laughs> That's as good a goal as any. Murder Doodle got the fish. It's alright, Rebecca's not here tonight. So you can keep it. I'm glad I got at least 21 people in, because that would have been a rubbish flex earlier about getting more than 20 people to play, and then if only 19 turned up. No Team TRM tonight, so the Hedgehog is free for anyone that wants it. Maybe that's what we should do, is like... Winning, as well as getting to pick next week's specialist subject, you also get to claim something. Um, can I still show us last week's? 151... If I look at this one... How do I do this? No, it's history I need to look in. So 151. This is... Oh, that was <laughs> this was me testing the different games. Okay. <laughs> is it this one, 151? So that's Juggler 1 last week. With 70% of the questions correct. Followed, followed closely by Timbo. So if you see your name there, try and use the same name. But no biggie if not. You just won't win. Right, are we ready folks? We're five minutes late for the quiz. 25 people in, ready to go. Good luck everybody. Get ready. Which of these is not 
a class judged at Crufts. Is it pastoral, toy, gun dog, or hunting? To unlock the hidden avatars, I think you need to join up and let sign up to look it. And the more times you play, you get extra points which unlock things, rather than playing as a guest. Hunting was the class that's not real, because gun dogs would be in the hunting class, I guess. What is the name of the competition for crossbreeds at Crufts? Is it the Heinz Awards, Mutts, Scrufts, or Cruft Crosses? Oh, a few people being slow. Sorry. It is Scrufts. Did I do random question order? Or we're going to get five Crufts questions, then five Oscars questions. Timbo still at the top. Oh, there we go. What country is this? Is it Norway, Sweden, Finland, or Denmark? Oh no, Lanx has crashed. That's not good. Everyone else seems to be still okay. I uh, don't know, it might be a local issue. False Inspector. That's a name I've not seen before. Congratulations on your first win. Question four. What does coy roughly translate to in English? Is it health, rich, love or fish? We're going to go with Doppelganger for beer number two of the evening again. We had this last week, it was quite nice. Or I was drunk at the time. I can't remember it being horrible. It's love. Apparently it roughly translates to a lot of things. What Oscar winning film is this still from? Is it The Godfather Part 3, Godfather Part 2, The Godfather, or Universal Soldier? If you've seen any of The Godfathers, I'll give you a clue, it's one of The Godfathers. You should be able to work that out. It's The Godfather Part 2. It me. Uh oh, juggler's at the top already and it's not even halfway through. The Bechdel test of female inclusion in a work of fiction requires what? At least 50% of the characters to be female, at least two female characters who speak to each other about something other than a man, any female nudity to be matched by equal amount of male nudity. <gasps> this is a wordy question. Or Jean Claude Van Damme to be involved. It was the blue one. At least two female characters, they have to speak to each other, and it has to be about something that's not a man. And apparently, for the last 15 years, less than 50% of films made have met that test. What is the common name for Cynacea? Cynanicea. That word there that I can't say. A fish capable of causing paralysis or death in humans. Is it a rockfish, a strawfish, a woodfish, or a stonefish? It's a stonefish, of course. What is a young pilchard called? A sardine, a minnow, an anchovy, or a sprat? Uh, 
It's a sardine. Hoof hearted got that one very quickly. Well done. Where might you find a silver arowana in the quiz? In the quiz. In the wild. Africa, South America, India, or Asia? It would be South America. <laughs> Still just tackle? <laughs> Wow, jugglers dropped down to third. What's going on? Poisson rouge is the French name for what fish? Is it a sword tail? Apologies for my pronunciation. A red tailed catfish, an Oscar, or a goldfish? See, juggler with the salient point there that isn't India in Asia. That's one of those. Graham didn't think about that and is going to do nothing about it type issues. It's a goldfish. How many dog breeds compete for the Best in Show award at Crufts? So how many different Best in Show competitor breeds are there? I mean, I think India is technically Asian. Indian food would be Asian cuisine. In the... If there are only five continents... I don't know. This could get political very quickly. I'm on shaky ground here. <laughs> What is the chemical symbol for iron? Is it AG, IR, FE, or PB? It's FE. International Women's Day today. What main colour represents the day? Blue, purple, brown or pink? I'm just trying to fix the old GoPro. It was Poipel, by the way. Which dog breed has won most Best in Show titles? These are the top four. So which one won the most? Is it the Irish Setter, the Welsh Terrier, the Poodle, or the Cocker Spaniel? Cocker Spaniel with seven Best in Show titles. With 537 entries this year, which dog breed has the most entrants at Crufts? Is it the Labrador Retriever, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Whippet or the Border Collie? This is a trick question. I've only included Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and put a picture of one because of King Charles. Thinking you might think more people entered them. But it's the Labrador Retriever. 
Does it include both English and American versions of the Cocker Spaniel? I don't know. But it was from Cruft's own official fact-setting page thing. What 2004 Best Picture Oscar winner is this? Million Dollar Baby, The Departed, The Mule, or Gran Torino? Uh, what the fuck's a Cruft? <laughs> Cruft's is the international dog show. Don't you know? It's the only reason for Claire Balding to still exist. It was, of course, Million Dollar Baby. Timbo's making a bit of a run for it here. What is the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet? I think in this would be good for the Americans, because don't you name all your university houses after Greek things like Alpha, Beta, Papa Kai, Epsilon, Delta, Gamma, Ray. Fraternities, that's the word I was going for. Delta, of course it was Delta. Scott making an appearance in the top five there. Alvin and Parr are stages in the life cycles of which fish? Trout, salmon, tuna, tuna fish, or sharks? It is salmon, of course. <laughs> ultimate question. At Crufts, how many dogs compete in a flyball team? Flyball looks like it's fun. Is it six, three, four, or five? I mean, I've said at Crufts just to link it to Crufts, but I guess it's any flyball team. How many dogs do you have? And if you've never watched Flyball, I, it's on Channel 4 and they have a YouTube channel. Go and have a look. It's fun. It's four. Tight at the top. This could be anybody's game. How did the Oscars get its name? The first winner was called Oscar. The statue looked like someone's Uncle Oscar. The designer's dog was called Oscar. Or it stands for Open Screen Cinematic Awards Recognition. Satan. It's the statue looked like someone's Uncle Oscar. It was one of the librarians at the Academy. Juggler in third place, Pelagius in second place, False Inspector! That is a new name. Congratulations, False Inspector. Make yourself known. Who are you? You have done well. Timbo in fourth, it me in fifth. Oh, Scott, what happened? You went all the way down to tenth in that last. Pardon me. View report. Where did we get to? Uh, not bad. Ooh, my voice went awful high there. 47%. That's almost 50% correct. False Inspector with 14 questions correct. Uh, a whopping 70%. The same as Juggler, just faster. So that did make a difference in the end. Five points. Uh, so the top four got 13 or 14 correct. Oh, Hick. You were robbed by your slowness, as were you, J and J, whichever J it was. Uh, and then we start to trail off a little bit. Unlucky, unlucky. Um, false Inspector, we can now look at your question. I don't know if this is worth the extra money I've paid for this. So you didn't know how many people, how many people were in a flyball team, how many dogs were in a flyball team. You didn't know. So your Crufts knowledge was quite bad. Your international women's knowledge is quite bad. And but you did well on all the other ones. 
And uh, the juggler get the same questions, correct and wrong. Oh, you got Croft's question wrong. You got Croft's question wrong. You only get one of the. You only have to exist. You only get one of the International Women's Day's questions wrong. <laughs> Uh, Plagius, so I've got to look at that one. You didn't. One Crufts one, one Oscars one, one International Women's one. Oh, you did okay. Oh, you got both. You got your proper sexist. You got both of them wrong. <laughs> That's the test, isn't it? Whether or not you can answer my stupid questions. Well done, everyone. Uh, congratulations once more to False Inspector. Reveal yourself. Who are you? Uh, Adam C was false inspector. <laughs> Stevie P is going to purchase a table, assemble it, and then flip it. Stevie P, where did you come? Come on. It's not my fault. <laughs> I can't see you anywhere, Stevie P. Oh, there are you. Yeah, you did all right. Your Crufts knowledge is not good, but then, is anyone's Crufts knowledge that good? You got the film ones. Uh, you got the international. You're not a ra you're not, not a racist. You're not a sexist. I I don't mean. I jest. I'm not calling everyone who got the International Women's Day one wrong a sexist. You did all right, Stevie P. So bad. <laughs> my quiz or your performance in my quiz? <laughs> right, so what we're going to do a bit later is do another quiz, a slightly different version, and I'm going to reuse one of the old quizzes. I'm going to do it from weeks and weeks ago, so as you probably can't remember. If you can't, even if you could remember, you would have forgotten by now. Um, and we're going to do the Battle Royale version of it, where... What happens is everyone gets given an amount of points and then you play off against one of the other people that's playing. So, for instance, if there was me, Scott, Juggler and Brian playing on one question, I would be playing Scott and Juggler would be playing Brian. The next question, it might be Brian playing me and whoever gets it right quickest or right and someone else gets it wrong you get a life or you lose a life and it's last man standing so I'm interested to see because in my testing that looked like it could be quite fun but I'm interested to see how it goes and we might introduce that later if it's a winner <laughs> everyone's Crufts knowledge is bad <laughs> we don't know what it means it's a dog show it's like the biggest dog show in the world even if you don't know about if you're not into dogs, you must have heard of Crufts. You know, people who like to go and compete to see whose dog looks most like a dog. That one. Scott was all over the place there. Bottom, mid, top, top five, then tenth. Yeah, that's, that was a hard one. I knew the damn answer to the damn flyball one. I will kick myself over until next week. Yeah, maybe we should check some of the women. Did they get the International Women's Day questions wrong as well? Are the women sexist? Is that what it is? Am I the only feminist here? Uh, yep. <laughs> Well, Zen was 50-50 for the, the Women's Day questions. See, that's the trouble is I don't know who's who. Adam's trying to think of a US-centric topic. Yeah, something more universal. But I thought, I mean, this wasn't a UK-centric thing. I mean, it's in the UK, but 
I've been watching Crofts on Channel 4 every evening this week. Um, well, since Wednesday or whenever it started. But people come from all over the world to this thing. King's Aquarium and Ant World, good evening. Uh, Arnold, you have to send me your address. I, no, I haven't actually asked you for it. But send me your address. <laughs> yep, you're definitely sexist. Apparently, the colouring of International Women's Day... In fact, let me look this up, because I can't remember it. I'm a sexist. But one of them made me go, Really? So, there, the main colour is purple. Pardon me. And it says, Purple is used to signify justice and dignity. Okay. But there are three main colours. Purple is the main colour, but also green and white are used as accent colours. Purple is used to signify justice and dignity. Green symbolises hope, whereas white represents purity. Isn't that the opposite of what International Women's Day is all about? Women are meant to be like, oh, they're so delicate and pure and chaste. I don't know. Let's go with what for next week's topic? Rebuses. What's a rebuses? Is that like more than one rebus? The TV show? having to Google what that means. Uh, the plural of rebus, a, a puzzle in which words are represented by combinations of pictures and individual letters. Ah, okay. Is that what you meant? Bit like dingbats. So, for instance, that would be a rebus. So, that one's man overboard, fading away, over and over, green eggs and ham. Is that what we mean? I also read that as, let's just go with Rebecca for next week's topic. <laughs> Who is always late to the quiz? Who always wants to be the fish? <laughs> Stop trying to make Crofts happen. Crofts is happening whether we want to or not. I'm going to get struck by a snowflake. What? I'm supporting women. I am a devout feminist. I'm not even being sarcastic in saying that. Uh, oh, she's here. Look, Rebecca is in the house. You've missed the first quiz, but we're going to have a second quiz, so don't worry. You'll be okay. Graham and maths don't go. What did I get wrong? Uh, there was no dingbat this week, that's quite right. Dingbats are getting hard to... The format of giving you a dingbat with four potential options is quite hard. So, like, for instance, I think I was calling these dingbats before. Okay, number two there, man overboard. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. What else could I make that to give you options? So, unless I can find one where you have to actually type in the answers... And then you've got spelling and stuff, and that's unfair. 
So there are only so many dingbats that could be more than one thing. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, what is Rebus? We're not entirely sure, are we? We think it's like a dingbat, sort of. But I'm not clear if you want if you meant more than one rebus or rebuses or rebuses as I don't even know how to say rebus or rebus. If more than one rebus or it's a completely different thing altogether. The game show concentration. Again, a thing I have never heard of. Uh, concentration game show. Concentration is an American television game show based on the children's memory game of the same name. That doesn't help. Concentration was originally a British TV game show which aired from 1959 until June 1960. That doesn't help me. How, how did it work? Concentration was a TV game show based on the children's game Memory. Oh, but we have like loads of different cards and you turn them over. The Rebus form is centuries old and has been used in various forms. The most popular contemporary form prior to Concentration involved pictures, letters and numbers as well as a plus and minus. <sighs> okay. I, I will... What did that say? Oh. I will look into this. It's International Women's Day. I know! If you'd got here on time, you would also know, because I had several questions about it in the quiz. <laughs> but even the women didn't get right, so... Well, who knows? <laughs> didn't get anything wrong, I just misread it as rhombus. I give up. My chat's going ever. This is why I changed my chat system, because I couldn't keep up with it. Right. That I understand. F plus heart equals fart. <laughs> and that is a rebus. And then more than one rebus are rebuses. I get it. Okay, that is now going to be the um, subject for next week's quiz. That's what we're trying to say. Yeah, I was getting confused. Yeah, the concentration I was looking at was like pairs, where you turn off over the cars and you turn two over and then you, if they're not a pair, you put them back, try a different two and you go, oh, I try and remember where the other one was. Like pears. Three cans down and old. <laughs> uh, I'm only two cans down. We're fine. I might, I've got a new feature for everyone. I don't know if you've noticed this, but in the background. I spent a hell of a lot of money to get some mood lighting. And I don't think anybody noticed. You see that changing, Henny? Uh, 
who knows. GoPro can working? No, of course it isn't. One day, one day things will work properly. Now I've lost the chat again. I feel like we should do a what's the English translation of this Latin saying week. That could be funny. It could be funny because I would literally tie my tongue in knots trying to pronounce those Latin words <laughs> for you all to laugh at my pronunciations. A new feature. Can count. <laughs> I could get it like up in the corner here somewhere. Then, like New Year's Eve, go for a record or something like that. Right, so what we were going to try, um, for those of you who are new here, we were going to. I've, I've now found the, the document that I've now deleted. That's why I couldn't find it earlier. The little bit of admin was that we were going to hope that everyone could vote for Juggler's Daughter in uh, a f photography competition. So I can't p post the link. Someone else will post the link again. If you vote for number 12, it's the picture of the dog doing parkour. I would be much appreciative. Try to see if that is working or not, but it doesn't seem to be. Sorry. Um, let's see if we can use a bit of the power of the internet to see if we can get her a win. Because it's a cracking photo. To be fair, they're all cracking photos. But you know, why not use a bit of your internet power? We've got 46 people in here at the moment. If we can get someone to go and vote for the dog. Why not? Um, before I'll bore you all too much with my analytics chat and what I've both been concentrating on this week, I think we're going to go for one more quiz, if you fancy it. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in chat. That's what they say when they're influenced. It's not working. I hate computers. Number 14, number 14, not number 12, sorry. Number 14. Stick the link in there again. Uh, number 14, not number 12. Doesn't matter if you prefer number 14. No, doesn't matter if you prefer number 12. Go for number 14. We ain't giving them away. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get this bloody quiz. I'm going to have to spend money at some point. This is, this, this is where it's going. Uh, who won the quiz? Adam C won the quiz. So Adam, pick a number between. Oh, it's crashed again. It's bodes well. Pick a number between kind of. Hundred and twenty and a hundred and fifty. Adam, pick a number between a hundred and twenty and a hundred and fifty. That's the one. RSPCA Young Photographer of the Year Awards. Click there and go for number 14, not 12, 14. The dog doing parkour. Adam's gone now. Okay, I'm going to pick a number. Um, I'm going to pick an older one. So we're going to try the Battle Royale, so basically you're going to get three lives, you're going to be going up against one of the other competitors, so it's not everyone going for points, you're trying to be the last man standing. Uh, too late, Fish Fam Link, I've chosen. <laughs> <coughs> you're 
you're going to be the last man standing or woman given it's International Women's Day uh, I'll put on the instructions but obviously it goes a little bit behind so read them yourselves and you need to be able to look at the whole screen for some of that um, you can even do teams in this one but we'll go with solo for now so I'm going to show the instructions everyone's going to get 5 points to start uh, Rebecca obviously gets the fish now that she's here and I'll post this link in chat. We'll give a couple of minutes for people to get in. No, that's not going to work if I don't give you the number. Bear with me. So quiz number two, just for fun, unless this next beer really strong and it makes me want to give away something. You're in luck, it's my favourite and it is really strong. So, we might give away a prize for this one. It might be a rubbish prize of some fish food or a plant or I don't know. Plants still available on aquariumadventures.co.uk. Plant sales have been really good actually. But you know, if anyone else is new here, I now sell plants. trying to make them very reasonable so get in quick before I realize this is not a viable business model Tim has a request <laughs> um, can we have a quiz where Graham shouts contenders are you ready this could be that quiz So this will be a small prize of some description. Got a couple of new fish foods I'm trialling as well, so maybe I'll send some of them out to get you to test them. Uh, we've got 20 people in. Is that about right? Just a bit of fun, this one. We'll give it 30 more seconds. Gladiators, ready! Contenders, ready! Now, what was it used to say? Contender one, you will go on my first whistle. This will mean nothing to anyone who isn't from the UK. <laughs> Are we ready, people? I'm going to click the button. I'm hovering over it. Read the instructions. Here we go. Each round, you'll be randomly matched against someone. Answer your questions. Answer quickly to beat your opponent. Fastest finger first. Answer correctly and more quickly to keep up your energy, or lives as I was calling them. Survive. The last player with energy remaining wins. Good luck, everyone. So you can see who you're up against. What movie had the tagline, you'll never go in the water again? The Abyss, The Meg, Jaws, or Finding Nemo? It was, of course, Jaws. So now we see who beat who. It'll be hard, quite hard to follow, so you'll have to keep on your own progress, really. Until we get down to the last few people. Still 21 players remaining. Who didn't star in the film Finding Nemo? Danny DeVito, Alison Janney, Ellen DeGeneres, or Willem Dafoe? That was Danny DeVito.
I don't know if you both get them wrong, whether or not you both lose a life. If you wanted to test your aquarium for ammonia, which test would you use? NH2, NH3, NO2 or NO3? It's very adversarial this quiz mode, isn't it? <laughs> What is the top grossing movie worldwide this year? Is it Barbie, Fast X, Oppenheimer or Super Mario? It was Super Mario, do not remember this. We had to Google this for several minutes afterwards. Remember this was probably last year. Juggler, not a fan of this format. Four losses out of four. What does LFS stand for? Limited fish sales, liquid fish soup, local fish sore, or livid fight starter? I think we might start to lose one or two people this one. Oh, we've lost two people. Down to 19 players remaining. I know nothing, truly knows nothing. SGH, Mona Lee, Timbo, Stu Toon, all in the last life. A copy of the classic sci-fi novel 2001 A Space Odyssey was returned to a library in Lancashire more than 50 years overdue. How much had it racked up in terms of late fees? It's a wordy question. You either have to guess or Google it quickly. Four and a half grand in late fees. It me versus Gas Musk. Oh, Gas Musk is gone. Oh, a load of people have gone. Down to 11 players. Round seven starts soon. If you're still in it, you're doing well. According to Practical fish keeping, which species is the most commonly returned to stores? Neon, Tetra, Guppy, Oscar or Angelfish? Paul McCarthy, hello there. I think it was the Oscars. No, it was Guppies. I thought it was Oscars as well. Hey, it's a long time ago I made this quiz. Down to eight players. Shadow versus Hoof Hearted. That's a, a final battle, if ever I saw one. How do manatees with the lack of swim bladder control their buoyancy? Is it pooping, peeing, burping or farting? Yeah, as Juggler says, I think it's all the babies for the guppies that they can take back to the shop. Can I give you 200 guppies and I'll have a, one, a bag of fish flake? <laughs> It's farting. Of course it was farting. Six players left. Zenny, you're leading so far. With O-O jointly. 
which of these is not a JCVD film? Hard Target, Kung Fu Panda 3, Minions, Rise of Gru, or Last Action Hero? And all of you that said John claude Van Damme, knowledge was useless. Hard target because, of course, that was a Steven Seagull film. <sighs> only three remaining. How does it work when there's only three? Oh, Zenny has to play twice. So you could either win two or lose all of them. What was the name of the mutant fish in The Simpsons? Was it Harold, Blinky, Winky, or Stinky? Give you a clue, seeing there's a lag. It's Blinky. <laughs> Players any got knocked out. Oh, oh, versus False Inspector. Is False Inspector going for the double win? Which country has recorded the most confirmed shark attacks? Australia, Japan, USA, or South Africa? My GoPro is just dead rather than not working. They're clearly Googling it, aren't they? Who's the fastest Googler? Oh, we've got a result. Victory for oh oh you got it right and false inspector got it wrong. Zeni in third place, false inspector in second place, and oh oh in first place with seven wins. So I think what happens is if you get eliminated, you still get to play on just for fun and answer the questions. Um because I think if if you've signed up to look it, it gives you points so as you can use them to buy avatars and things like that. But well done. Well done everyone. What did you think of that? It was a bit of fun. I've got one more thing that we could try. Oh, oh yippee! Yeah, yet again, with you living in America, <laughs> I ain't gonna send you nothing. No, if you... you You've now won enough things, June, that I could send you something. Send me through your address and we'll work out how to get you a towel for all these wins. <laughs> Brian's busy mashing his tatties. I hate to do it, but i got to go. I'm having such a hard time with reality at the moment. Yeah, I saw those messages earlier, Tommy. I, I meant to mention it. Um, sorry, dear, you're having a, a tough time. It's not good to lose a friend or lose anyone in your life, really. So, as you say, if you're struggling, reach out. Your friends love you. Quite right. All the best, Tommy. I hope you're okay. And as they say, time heal all wounds. <sighs> it's too much for my central nervous system, says. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, surely. Yes, I tell. Yeah, you just need to tell me where to send the damn thing and I'll send it to you. 
Flushy Aquatics USA. USA. Tatties are potatoes? Why are you asking that like a question? You live in Britain. Surely you know tatties are potatoes. Neeps and tatties. I know we call them tatties, but we are your neighbours. Um, oh, something went wrong. So the last one I wanted to try, and I, I said this was going to be a quiz night tonight rather than anything else, is I want to try one more. So pick a number between 120 and 150. How, Fish Fam, can I just say it? Does it do it like that or do I need to type it? Fish Fam Link, pick a number. <laughs> it's not Alexa. Of course that won't work. How did you do it earlier? Uh, I'm scrolling up to see if I can find how you did that earlier. Just found this message from Brian. My favourite Scottish phrase is poke mahon. It's also my favourite Scottish phrase. Poke mahon, you have a vasta. That's how I remember it, learning it from school. So if anyone can speak Gaelic, poke mahon, you have a vasta. Ah, FFL, pick a link between, pick a number between 120 and 150. Let's do that again. Unless you've already done it. One hundred and thirty-six says Fish Fam Link. Fine. This will be the last quiz of the evening, if I can find number one hundred and thirty-six, which must be here somewhere, surely. Yeah, four months ago this was played. So this is a slightly different one, where I just get to see what happens on screen. We're going to go with racing. Uh, little face. So you're answering, everyone's answering the same questions, but how quickly you answer them advances you along a racetrack. And whoever gets to the end first. I'm going to limit it to question to 20, because there are only 20 questions, and if I put 30, they'll repeat some of them. So it's just... This is all about speed. It's about being quick. So we've got classic, we've got uh, battle royale, and this is the race. You used some kind of AI editor, Brian. How did you do that? Or is this YouTube Studio? You've let it edit it for you. Uh, we'll need to see this. As always, join the Discord where you can get all the links to see Brian's videos. <laughs> So this is a bit of a tester night to see whether or not any of these might be gores for the, the new one, uh, for the, the next month's quiz. So I was thinking if we can get a couple of them, we could mix it up during the weeks. So one week could be classic, the next week could be, I don't know, racing, the next week could be, uh, you know, just have a, a little bit of, a little bit of difference. I like the classic go. Right, I'm going to start it now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think if you sign up to Blue it, it's free to sign up. You don't have to pay or anything. You can earn things. And the more you earn, so the more you play, the more avatars you get to choose from. I think. Are we ready, people? Are we ready to go? 
Good luck. So, this should all be you lot all down this side. And then as you as and when you get the questions, I, I did not find anywhere I could bet. Juggler taking the lead with it me. Oh, Juggler out on his own. Some people have yet to answer a question. <laughs> Timbo on three, Juggler's done four. Still on four, Timbo's caught him. Oh, it me, it me takes the lead. Juggler catches up, Shadow one behind, Juggler's gone backwards, he's got one wrong. Timbo in the lead. See, this is where I thought this might not be the best viewing. It's probably fun for you to play. Timbo and Shadow in the lead, head, head to head. Uh-oh, Shadow got one wrong. I can't see what the questions you're answering are. This could be the week where I got all the questions wrong. Who knows? quite exciting from my point of view, but I really don't need to be here. Stevie P was neck and neck with the leader there. Oh, Stevie P's in the lead! Stevie P's in the lead! Oh, not anymore. Shadow. Oh, you were so close to the winning line there. Go on, Shadow. Go on, Shadow. One more. One more. Shadow got there first. It me in third, still just Taco in second, and Shadow! Shadow! No? Beep, beep. It looked like it was fun for me, I don't know. Yeah, so that one, as soon as someone gets to the end, everyone else gets cancelled, gets kicked off. Is that fun? It's DVP, too much pressure. You were in the lead at one point. I don't know, it seems like a bit of fun. So, all I would ask is, join the Discord server, let me know in there whether or not that was nonsense, you hated it, never do it again, or fantastic, why have we not been doing this for years already, and anything in between, let me know. We can craft some kind of perfect storm, or do some kind of crowdfunding and I'll buy the actual software. But it's something like $70 a month or something. Ridiculous to get the other proper software. So I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, the, orig the original was way better. <laughs> I do like the classic. It is classic. <laughs> that was awful. It me and still just Taco are sat either side of me. I'll never live this down. <laughs> it was funnish. So I've also had a thought about... So you know how most pub quizzes are a bit easier than this? I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this so I don't hurt my own feelings, but I'm the person saying it, so that's fine. I think I overcomplicate things sometimes and try to make it a little bit too cerebral and a bit too... Every time I do a quiz, I try and think of, right, okay, there could be somebody out there who's dyslexic and they can't read this. There could be somebody out there who's dyspraxic and they've confuse those words and colours there could be some so I try, I have questions that have long questions but short answers I have questions that have 
short questions but long answers. I have questions that just have numbers. I have questions that are unknowable. So they're guesses. I have questions that are just uh, ungoogleable. So it doesn't matter if you're googling and cheating. And I spend a lot of time thinking about this. If anyone's watching this from my work, I spend most of my Friday, like three o'clock onwards, I'm like, right, I'll write the quiz. And then at half past seven, I'm still like, oh, shit, let's get this finished. Whereas when I go to a pub quiz, it's questions like, um, I don't know, what's the capital of Scotland? And you're like, oh, okay. Would you prefer a more generic, easier to answer quiz and it be about the speed of the answer? Or would you prefer the mix of really easy, really difficult questions? Or would you prefer it to be more difficult questions? I guess that's my question. I don't know what works better. I've kind of run out of things to ask about fish. I always try and include at least five questions about fish. <coughs> but I'm struggling to come up with new things to ask about fish. Uh, I found myself today trying to craft a question about <laughs> the visual capabilities of Corydoras. How they're one of the only fish whose eyeballs can move around to follow a target. I'm like, how do I make a question out of that? Bring back the Wheel of Unfortune. Uh, you don't want the university challenge as a real level higher. Yeah. And I guess that's where I'm coming from because I quite enjoy university challenge. I remember watching it when I was a kid and I always remember there was a, a comedy show. Uh, what was it? It was like a podcast or something like that where... Oh, it was Carl Pilkington. If you ever have listened to any Ricky Gervais or anything like that. His favourite thing to do was he would watch University Challenge, but with a completely open mind, knowing fine well he would never be able to answer any of the questions correctly. And if you're not from here, the University Challenge is they pick a team from universities around Britain, put them on a show together and ask them really hard questions. And whoever answers all of them gets the prize and at the end of the year, someone wins. Um. But it's always really hard questions. Really academic questions. So this guy would watch it, knowing fine well that all the questions were impossible to know for someone like him. So he just, his game was, I'm going to answer every question the same. And the amount of times I get it right, over a year, that's how I win. That's, his, that's how he played it. So he would answer every question with the egg. And he would just sit there and... <laughs> <laughs> and he would wait for something that would just randomly, luckily, land on egg. Like, what uh, What was the famous designer from French 18th century, Carl Fabergé, known for designing? Egg. Correct. And he'd get that one, and it'd be like, oh. <laughs> so anyway, it was a whole thing. He could say it a lot funnier than I could. But I feel like some of my questions are stretching into that kind of area, where I'm trying to contrive questions to make sense just so as I can squeeze in some fishy questions. Whereas I think we should just do like a bit of a pub quiz where it is just like uh, how many states has America got? And things like that. Uh, I don't know. Susan's in. She's been working late. Apparently you've got some tatties on the go ready for you. Uh, University Challenge is logical. I ended up knowing a lot of people in the teams. It's tactics more than knowledge. There is a, yeah, and there is. There's a whole thing about that. Um, in fact, there's even a couple of films about University Challenge. Because you do get... Oh, let's not get into the whole University Challenge thing. But anyway. 
I'm aiming at just a bit of fun, but I'm also realizing that you can't have... I'm going off niche by not having fish questions. But then again, a lot of the people that have started to join recently haven't been fish persons, fish people. They're folks sat next to their fish-loving mum or dad, and they're just playing along. So, I guess I'm saying, do I have permission to be mostly non-fish now? Because I've run out of things to ask questions about for fish. So, permission to be non-fishy, or permission to repeat fishy questions, or please send me some fishy questions. End of story. That's all I'm asking. But now we know the, the answers. Corey's, when you wake up in the middle of the night with the perfect question. Ah. If it's too easy, nobody will learn anything. Well, I'm not here to teach you anything, and I'm in no position to teach you anything. So I was really proud of myself last week for including the... the... Linnaeus question about who was the father of the binomial nomenclature nomenclature because that, that was something I learned that day I was like, ah, oh, right, okay whereas lots of people already knew that apparently uh, it seems to take me longer to read but it's all good, I enjoy a mix of all sorts and rubbish and sharp questions yeah, I do try and get some non-wordy questions in, but sometimes and that's what, that's what I mean about trying to keep it fishy you'll see a lot of my like Today, trying to squeeze in the International Women's Day question. It's like, how do I make this a question? Because I thought it was really interesting. Um, the fact that... I'm trying to find the thing now. What's the test? <laughs> I've already forgotten it. Oh, where is it gone? Anyway, there's a test that you can run, uh, which apparently was started as a joke, to say, take any piece of fiction, whether it's a book, a play, a TV show, a film, or whatever, and are there two women in it who talk to each other about something other than a man? And that's the test. If they pass that test, then tick, you, you have, you've passed the whatever it is called test and you're not sexist so to speak but less than 50% of the films made in the last decade have passed that test and it just that blew my mind and I thought that that's a big thing that's a that's worthy of comment how do I, how do I make that into a quiz question and I, I ended up with a big massive wordy question um it's the same with some of the fishy ones where I'm like, oh, that's a that's a cool fishy fact. That's worthy of discussion. Let's talk about that a little bit. And then I end up with a four-line question where everyone's like, ah. And by the time you get to the end of it, everyone else has already answered it, which feels a little bit unfair and disingenuous to everyone. Mm. You can have a, a weekly name that fish question with a picture or a close-up. Yeah, we've tried to do that a little bit sometimes. Uh, does Bluekit allow picks as answers, or does it have to be text? Oh, good question. I do not know. Uh, so there is a maths element to it. So, for instance, little face. Oh, my sits. So, if I edit that one, so this is the one we've played here. If I was to add a question, I can add an image down the sides, which can just be. So, I can pick a fish, but then I still have to have a question, or I can pick maths. Where I get an equation editor, where I do not know what to do in here. Because <coughs> I'm like, where's the numbers? Um, so, there, that, there. 
the uh, uh. so I can insert a maths equation and ask you a question about it or I can record audio is this a terrible idea where I can upload the audio that we've created uh, as I do this, I realise none of you are looking at the screen that I'm looking at, so there's no point in doing that. Graham, you are an idiot. So that's what we're looking at there. I can add an image, any image and pick that and ask a question about it. I can add a maths formula, but without any numbers, so I can go that, 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 and ask you a question about it, or I can record audio. So I could, like, sing a song or something. I wonder if I could do, like, upload audio and just, like, what is this song? Oh, no, that's getting copyright struck straight away. So that's about it. Uh, as for the answers, the answers I could add in an image for an answer if that was the original question. So it could be like, which of these is an Oscar? And I could put in a picture of an Oscar, a betta fish, a rainbow fish, and a pleco. So yes, we can have question answers. Name that animal as my specialist topic. <laughs> my fish tanks aquatics. Hello, hello, fishy folks. Hello yourself. Great view of Discord. I know. I'm a professional here. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I can see option for image answer. Yes, you can definitely have an image answer. So you could give the answer. Ah. Yeah, that might work better for like the Rebus and the Dingbats ones. Yes, you're quite right. Donde is that, mi amigo? You could just acapella pop songs with no background music and we'll guess, yeah, I could. I'm not going to. And even that's not true. You, my proudest moment. Have I have I talked about this recently? My proudest moment when I sang Under the Sea and played it on guitar and got a copyright strike. I'm that good. <laughs> uh, hello, Sean Williams. How are you? Right, we're getting to the last ten minutes. And I haven't even covered half the things that I, th I said I was going to cover this. Ugh. Oh well, I don't get to bore you all with YouTube statistics. I don't get to um, push my plant selling business. Uh, but I do get to say one more time, if you are here, join my Discord. We have chat and stuff going on all, all week long in there. Juggler, I'm not going to make it to the auction this weekend because it turns out it's also Mother's Day. And even though she's not my mother, I have to stay and take my wife out because she's my children's mother. So I'm not allowed to go to... I'm totally allowed to go if I want to. I just chose not to. I'm not allowed to go to Newcastle, so I won't be going to the auction, so I will send you that. You will not have the pleasure of my company on Sunday, I'm afraid. Uh, because of Mothering Sunday. My mum's not even going to be at home either, so it's like, I, th I should have the day off. But anyway, no, I will be sending you your prize. Um, Plushy says, I don't know what a Discord is. A Discord is up here. Click that link. Type that in a browser or something. 
bring her along. Fun. I took her to the Sheep Valley auction once. I think she used the term never again or over my dead body or something like that because she sat there for hours with me, poor lady. Going, this is terrible. Why? Oh, this is so boring. I think she was just basically there to make sure there wasn't a ruse and I wasn't actually going out to meet loads of women. <laughs> I was like, no, no, it's just really annoying. There'll be a guy that will turn up here with some screaming kids and I'm like, oh, here he is. Yeah, he's, he's not going to look after these kids. They're just going to run riot around this auction, smashing up shit. Um, so she was like, no, never coming to one of them ever again. Um, so I, I kind of fancied it as well. If only it was next week, because I have to be in Newcastle next week. Oh no, I don't have to be in Newcastle. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, no, that doesn't work. So this week... I'll assume my wife's asleep by now and won't hear any of this. So we'll talk quietly and they'll be fine. My mother-in-law is coming tomorrow. Spending tomorrow with us. And then my sister-in-law is coming down here on Sunday morning to collect her and take her to Newcastle. So my original plan was, oh, I could offer to do that and like be all kind and stuff. But she has to be in Newcastle for two because they won't be back before then so it didn't work out and the auction would probably be finished by then mm -hmm. all a bit rubbish but the week after that I could go and collect her but there's no auction then I had to shut up that doesn't make sense the auction's in a pub well, she doesn't drink that's the thing so, yeah, it'd be, it wouldn't be a win-win. Next week... Next, next week is the Catfish Convention in Bolton, but all the tickets have gone. That's a shame. Are you going up to Bolton? I spend a lot of time in Bolton. My main client was Bolton. Uh, what was it? The Stain Drop Lodge? The hotel I used to stay in every now and again? Auction in a pub? Yeah, almost every auction I've been to has been in a pub. Esfasers, they've started going up, a little bit upper class, but they've at least helped. they've always had a bar if it wasn't a pub. But it used to always be in a pub. You're driving up to the deepest north of Bolton. Oh. The Google, the Google Translate ready for Bolton. Uh, it's not that bad. I find it quite easy to understand people from Bolton. But yeah, one of my main clients is in Bolton. I go up there fairly... I haven't been for a while, actually, but I used to go up there fairly regularly. And I speak to them fairly regularly. They're all right. I don't mind them. Yeah, sorry, Brian. Sorry to disappoint. I'd love to go, but I just don't think it's going to happen. There is, however, going to be a, a, an SFAS auction. I saw that get posted recently. So, you know, if you fancy a day trip down to Sheffield... Uh, let me see if I can find when that is. <coughs> oh, nope, that didn't work. Which is SFAS. I always say SFAS, but it's the Sheaf Valley Aquarist Society. Uh, they have a presentation, that's uh, a presentation, not an auction, on the 12th at 7.30 from 
and Dr. Eric Thomas. Tips for keeping and breeding catfish. The presentation summary is Eric's preferred tank setups, foods and care habits for breeding a variety of plecos, whiptails, corridoras and wood cats. It's not to talk about a single species, but an overview of tips to try with many species. So, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, but I'm sure I saw something about an auction. Who knows? Anyway, we'll finish the evening off with a heartfelt thanks for all of you for... Um, <laughs> sorry, I just saw a message. I have to comment. You must say Wigan is reasonably civilised. <laughs> Brian's going to put his kilt back into coast. I, I have a kilt. I could have worn a kilt. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is this. Uh, I'll finish off tonight with a story about my big head and how ridiculous it is. I went to the dentist this week. And I'm there in the chair, and she's dentist chatting away to me. It's the dental student. How are you doing, Mister Kerr? Oh, yeah, fine. It's great. Uh, oh, you've been working today. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm work from home. Oh, that must be great to work from home. Yeah, yeah, I get to. Uh, that and the other. Chat, chat, chat. Away from the x ray, and she's like, This is a bit weird, Mr. Kerr, but I recognise you from somewhere. Um, and I can't place it. And I was like, Oh, I don't know. Do you live in Sheffield? Well, no, I live in Manchester. Oh, okay, then. And we talked about it. Oh, have I been here before? No, I haven't been here before. Have you been here before? No, I haven't been here before. So I said, you don't by any chance have a fish tank. And she was like, I do have a fish tank. I was like, ah, you don't by any chance watch YouTube about fish and aquariums. And she was like, not really. I was like, well kind of a big deal on YouTube. I didn't say that obviously, but that's what it came across like. I was like, well, I do make YouTube videos on aquariums and I have a few thousand followers. She was like, no, that's not it. Your daughter, she was here last week and you picked her up. I was like so deflated. Like, oh, I've tried that thing where I thought I was being YouTube famous and it turns out I'm not YouTube famous. So, when it looks like my head is getting too big there's always ample opportunity to bring me back down to earth and that, w that was this week's example of that so as much as it is lovely to have 29,000 subscribers or 28,500 subscribers or whatever it is it's still just about fish tanks so with that I will leave you all um being truly humbled come and join me on discord go and watch another video all, all those good things it's been a pleasure let me know what you think about the, the quizzing and whether we should have bigger and better quizzes or you're happy with how they are or we should alternate or whatever it is um, I think it would be good fun I don't think I'm going to make it up to Newcastle for the auction this weekend, but if uh, something happens where I finally do it, then... <laughs> I was going to say, I bet your dentist made the point to look for... <laughs> she didn't need to, because I was like, No, really, I am. Look, here, here, you can you can see me. <sighs> it, was so, it was so embarrassing. Um, yeah, never mention to people you have aquariums. <sighs> I've been that before. I almost... Had <sighs> <laughs> this is even more embarrassing. I'm going to have to do some kind of talk now about aquariums. Ah, I don't even want to go there. They don't realise I'm an idiot that just happens to have locked out on YouTube. They think, oh, well, if he's got 20-odd thousand subscribers, he must know a thing or two about fish. No! It's no thing or two about pointing cameras at fish. That's all. Anyway, thank you for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Join me in the Discord. I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, it's not Newcastle, it's Gateshead. I, I, 